to the PartyPoker.net World Open Four. This is poker at its best. There is over $500,000 in the prize pool. The winner gets a massive quarter million dollar check. The race is on. I always call No Limit Texas Hold'em the beautiful game. Winning is everything. If you're looking to get better, you've got to come and play with the best. Many days you're going to go home with less money than you started the day with. You make one mistake and you're walking through the exit door. A spot at the semifinals is up for grabs. And for our runners up, there is a second chance to get back in it in the turbo round. So far, this tournament has been fast and furious. Champions have fallen, and the mighty underdogs have hit some fine four. On oh, real, man. Wow, wow, wow. What chance? Table, banter, and needles are guaranteed. If you get caught bluffing, you lose the pot. <laughs> you gonna show or not? Fucking <laughs> justice, come on, where are you? Tonight, another heat kicks off with a supreme lineup. Cobra is a hardcore poker player from Wolverhampton, playing for 25 years and taking part in WPTs, EPTs, and WSOPs. This man is a cut above the rest. This is a very important tournament for me to win. I've played it a few times and never really done any good, but today I feel very confident. Welshman John Tabatabai is a big talker at the table. But is he all talk and no trousers? Or can this WSOPE runner-up prove he's more than just a backward glance? I'm really excited about today, and I just want to go in there and hopefully teach these guys a lesson. It's the gentleman of poker, the epic Irishman, Liam Flood. Runner-up in this event at European Open champion two years ago. Can he launch another run for the title? I like to win the first hand that I play in. No matter what hand it is that I participate in first, I need to win it. Cat Girl from Latvia is out to impress. She's bringing her charms, her skills, and an unusual twist to the table. But will she be able to hold her own when the cards go down? It would be fantastic to win today. I don't want a second place. I'm going straight for the win. Ian Woodley is back at the World Open table. Last year he was a runner-up, so this time round he'll be out for the top spot. The money is important, but I don't, it never phases me. Like, I don't ever think about the money. I just I play because I want to win. Devilfish with poker bracelets galore and a huge reputation. He'll feel confident he can wipe out the opposition and is looking to go all the way. There's quite a lot of luck in these things, but if I win it, it's all skill. What's it all worth? The yellow sure, chips worth a thousand, the blues are two, the reds five K a piece. Black okay, chips not you. in play. Yeah, Hundred thousand <laughs> per player and six hundred K on the table, really? of course. Yeah. Okay. The first two levels. I appreciate that. Neil, I mean you gotta love this lineup. Uh, I don't something. know the last time Surrender, no, anyway. Liam really Flood and Devilfish all met at the same table. It's but brilliant. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna play Devilfish in the big blind. Small when you play the big usually blind, the fish lets people know when it's his nice. big blind. I feel like he invented that sort of move. Line. Him and Lucy Rokash, perhaps. David. Yeah, I think they both invented quite a lot of moves. The right? devil himself. <laughs> Pass. Pass. And I've never Pass. seen Catgirl play before. Cool. Limp. But she's definitely a presence at the table. She's, she's thrown okay, herself in the deep end she's here, for sure. No worries. Yeah, she certainly picked a hard heat, and uh, probably should have raised. Probably it's get interesting. It. I wonder whether Lucy Rokash would approve of uh, Cat Girl's appearance on tonight's program. Check. It's Check. a nice flop for the fish, and Woodley's got the second not flush draw, uh, a royal flush draw. I'm getting excited. I'm He's getting not going to put this down, is he? You know, this is definitely going to be a, a big-ish pot. Uh, Woodley's got a pair. I've got to say no the gut old. shot straight flush draw. No way to fold Cool. That's the next line. About walking away. Well, where does Woodley okay. put the fish? I mean, fish could have anything, f including nothing right now, couldn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think Woodley was definitely 8, thinking he's in check call mode. Uh, the board Four, pairing can slow him down a little bit. He must have a black ace there, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's looking to check Ooh, call that's again. What he's got a lot less outs than he thinks he has, Woodley, but uh, that's not one of them. And how should the devilfish wait this? 
I guess he's going to bet about 14,000 try and get paid off. Can I block again? No way I can't stop. 9,000. He's, uh, he's opted for last a number that's nearly guaranteed to get called by anything reasonable. Or is it so cheap? Well, well it's so cheap, but uh, it you know it's still 10% of a starting stack. 9% right? oh, uh, okay. as it happens. But uh, <clears throat> I think he intended to only pay on the river if he... You know, if he maybe made two pair, uh, you know, on the turn Jackson tens, or maybe made a straight, or you know, he he, he wasn't really intending to call just with the Jackson queens with an ace kicker. I think I, I think know, it's actually gone beyond it? the price or the money. There's pride's been brought into it. Cool. A little flush. Are you winning? You got a turn on the first one. I called you, son. Bottom zero. Dave. I said I got a flush. Well, you sure. win if you got a flush. Yeah, but I want to see it and see if I called it right. But ask him then. I don't lie. Can you turn him up, please, baby? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Ten jack. Wow. Uh, Devilfish taking that pot and the needle at actually. the end, Neil. Just in case. Yeah, definitely getting a, a little bit in there. Bloody hell, matey. <laughs> Raised to 7,000 total. And that, that feels loose. Well, yeah, you know, Devilfish made a good start. He's got some chips and uh, he's to keep testing out the table. Oh, no, he's got the, the, the ace queen. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the trickiest hand to play on the first level of this uh, format. Cool. And I don't mind calling there. I mean, uh, Devilfish has raised under the gun. He knows Devilfish's the range is quite wide. No, no. no. John no. Tupper Tawai may choose to try and make a squeeze play here. You not remember um, the one you He knows that Devilfish is liable to be raising, yeah, raising with a wide range of hands, and Surinder has shown weakness by just flat calling. If he eyes, brings it up to about 15,000 now, no. he'll probably feel like... Oh, sorry, yeah. not 15,000, maybe 22,000. I was uh, about to say He'll probably feel like yeah. you know, he could Very pick nice. up this money. There's 17,000 lying out there. Cool. He's chosen to just call, though. I'm the cool people. It's amazing, Dave. For somebody who says they're cool, you don't. Mm. You think Duchamp's? Huh? I'm only joking, buddy. Okay. What do you, what do you think his decision was, was based on? It. Uh, well, he's still got people to act behind <laughs> him, <laughs> who may have a hand. And now, of course, Liam has now got a, what he considers to be a perfect squeeze opportunity, uh, because there's even more money in there. And John Tubber Tobias has shown quite a bit of weakness uh, by just flat calling. And this is Liam's game, as we said before, he likes to re-raise. He doesn't tend to do it on the first level when the blinds are small because there's not much to steal. But in this pot, no, uh, with double fish raising and two seven. people calling, there's a lot of what well, he would think would be complete dead money lying around. The door. You had the aces. <laughs> <laughs> I had the ace king. No, you had the aces. Ace king, you had ace six. No, Late yeah. night poker fan? Yeah. Do you want to bet money on it? No, I won't bet if I was you. Okay. Devilfish is obviously going to pass. He's no. going to take a bit of time this about it because David he wants Walsh. to convince people he only raises under the gun with top hands. I want to have against your woman. Although Surinder's in a good spot oh, he here, good he thing. hasn't really yeah. invested very much money. money. No, uh, just 7,000. And, uh, and then Joe you know, it's possible, possible that Liam's got a massive <laughs> hand. Uh, if he yeah, does but he'll know that Liam's capable of doing it with this kind of hand Of course he does, of course he does, but... If he does re-raise, he to make an effective re-raise, he's going to have to raise it up to about fifty or sixty thousand more. Uh, and if he does that, he might as well go all in. He's one of those guys, you know, when you reach a certain age, and if you're backing out of the driveway, you don't you don't look behind you. You just kind of put it in reverse. Here I come. <laughs> you know? I know exactly what you mean. He's, he's great to watch he at the is. moment, Liam. He's uh, he's playing fearless, ferocious poker, and uh, yeah. But, I mean, he's magnificent in this particular format because he... Pass. Well, these kind of situations, uh, you know, that's happened in this hand is just a perfect yes, answer. All in. Oh my now, John Tabba Tobias knows exactly how Liam can play, yeah. and he Seven values years. his tournament life perhaps slightly really less than some right people, now. which is a good thing. Uh, okay, he's, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, he's not afraid to be knocked out. He doesn't care if he goes knocked out first. If he thinks it's a good situation, he'll put his money in. And he knows that Liam can be just trying to take advantage of the fact that there was some supposedly dead money lying around in this pot. And, and he should yeah. Liam might, might yeah. have done this with a, yeah, a wide should range should be about a pair of tens. John, Tavi, yeah. Tavi, that was... That's what I'm guessing. About a pair of tens. It was kind of impressive stuff, Neil. I mean... Yeah. No, it was a very gutsy move. Really John, look like that. Still to come, a cat, a fish, and plenty of whiskers. 
It'll be Stubbley from here on in after the break. I don't wear these glasses. Welcome really back to the blind. table. That's why I wear them. <laughs> Woodley was actually a bit unlucky <laughs> last year in getting second. I mean, he was it was a pretty magnificent second. Um, he, he played really well in his heat and, and yeah. out of his skin in the semis. Praise I remember you being very impressed, but I do remember the bookie telling me that it was the best performance of anyone ever on TV poker to beat him. It was, it was said. Many said that. Many did say that. Said it was it was some kind of final. I'll tell you what. And with the ace queen, identical situation. He just called, but the ace king's a much much better hand. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, but he's going for the call again. Perhaps because he feels Pass. again. You know, we're on the first level. There isn't too much money in there. He doesn't want to get too busy. Or perhaps because he's thinking he can set up the squeeze play behind. If he flat calls, if if John Tabatabai or Liam Flood pick up a hand behind, they may decide to make a big move. It's possible Liam may decide to move all in here. He's got about uh, what has he got? Sixty-six thousand. There's Pass. seventeen in there. He certainly considered it. Pass. I mean, before Dan Harrington had ever even written about the squeeze play, Pass. Surrender uh, did it on TV, no. the late night poker one final table. Well, Ian Woodley could consider that he's making a squeeze here if he moves in. He's got two nines. It's five thousand for him to call. He's only got sixty thousand chips. It wouldn't be the worst play in the world to move all in here. Cool. Okay. Chosen wow. discretion is the better part of valor. He's, he's just going to flat Sorry. call. That's that's pretty. I, see some blood. I think that's Maybe. pretty uh, confident stuff from Woodley that he didn't want to just give it all up and I don't know. Uh, it's around 10% of his stack to call. Uh, he's getting some kind of odds to flop the set. It'll be interesting to see who wins it now. Check. Surinder's probably Check. the favourite to pick up this pot. Well, he's missed the bet Check. there, so now Woodley's gone favourite to win the pot. I think if it's a low card, Woodley will bet and he'll probably win it. <laughs> How much should he bet now that there's three hearts on board? Well, nobody has a heart, but uh, I think the heart might be Check. the only thing that stops Woodley Check. betting. Too dangerous now, no more free ones, guys. Once people stop betting and Devilfish is in a pot, he always goes by with the winner. That's 14. This is... Double check and see if they've got a hat. Really tricky. I don't know if one, I'll just see if I had two. So I can't remember. And Woodley wants to see what's going to happen behind him. Obviously, if surrender folds, he'll go into check and call mode or. Research. Raise. Wow. Wow. That's 28,000. Very total. strong, isn't that's it? That's a very impressive move by surrender soon on. And uh, that's going to get through, obviously. We can see the hand. You know, it's going to get through. I mean, tell me the thought oh, process that surrender can have to do this. Well. Woodley's shown weakness. Woodley's just flat called pre flop. He hasn't oh, let out on the flop. Long he long hasn't long. let out on the turn. So he's disregarding yeah. Woodley, and he knows Devilfish has got a lot of previous for stealing. Yeah. Um, well, he's played with Devilfish, yeah. you know, many times over a number of years, and uh, all his life, he 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 knows his hand can can be good here against Devilfish, and he knows Devilfish could easily just be betting with a pair of Plus fives, uh, you know, no, maybe ace five and seven, or six seven or six five. He's, um, and, and those hands I'll he's probably not... No way! way. He wow. Missed. He put them all in! Well, this is unbelievable stuff. What's I mean, going on? A move from Devilfish, a remove from, from Serena, and then a remove re from Devilfish. This is, uh, this is something you don't see every day of the week. No. Oh, my. I mean, Surrender has made a truly great play here, hasn't he? He, he, ma he made a play that less than 5% of poker players are capable of making. And Devilfish has made a play that less than 1%. And he knows he was bluffing and he can't really call. He also knows there's 123,000 in there and, uh, you know, he's got quite wow. a lot of his money already so in there. Awesome. <coughs> Well, even in the afterglow now, Neil and I, I think, still breathless about that hand. And for me, Neil, I mean, truly great poker takes truly great players. Absolutely. And, and these two are just 
they're still, you know, they've, they've been around poker a long time now. They're absolutely at the top of their game still. That, that hand is, is a brilliant hand. Now, you talked to Surrender. You talked to Surrender about this, didn't you? Yeah, I speak to Surrender a lot, and uh, I talked to him about this hand. I, I congratulated him on his play in the hand, but I also said, you know, what were you thinking when it was going along? He said to me, Devilfish is always making these moves on me. He always wants to make a big grandstand play. And he said, I knew he had nothing, and I decided I could take him off the hand, and then he's come back and made a play on me. And, you know, he, he takes his hat off to Devilfish. How can we, as, as mortal men, make a play like the Devilfish made? I mean, what do you have to think? Well, I, I guess with the Devilfish there, you know, Ian Woodley's played the hand kind of weak. He, he could have made a squeeze play pre-flop. He didn't lead out on the flop. And now the Devilfish has made his decision to, to seize the pot. You know, check twice, the Devilfish is always going to try and pick up any pots. Uh, but Surrender knows that and he, he goes for the remove. I guess if you had to criticise, Devilfish has let out for 14,000, Surrender's made it 28,000. He's kind of opened the door now for Devilfish to make the remove on him and he knows that Devilfish likes to make a remove on him. Uh, maybe Surrender should have pot committed himself a bit more and made a big play at the pot. But it's not really his style, he, he likes to play small ball poker, he likes to play lots of pots lots of tricky little things. He likes to, all his moves, he likes to make them small moves. And it would have been inconsistent to his normal standard of play if he'd have gone for an enormous raise with no hand there. Uh, if, if he always does the same kind of thing, it's very hard to put him on a hand. I, I think it's very hard to fault either of them in this pot. They both played it brilliantly. I'm um, what's Cat Girl in? Poker? Uh, you better ask Cat Girl. So what, what's Cat Girl? What do you mean? What, what is Cat Girl? Nickname? Oh, okay, so it's, it's not like a character or anything. Try? <laughs> oh, this then, okay. <laughs> Surrender is way different than that. That was almost an existential question. That was kind Plus. of like. Surrender all. This and you make them chips last like about another three hours, don't How you open oh, up the end, you throw one chip on the teddy bear in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a pound of blood. I'm still betting him to outlast at least three. That's a nice raise. <laughs> I'd bet on that too. Uh, if there's betting on. It's a nice raise, but it's not going to get rid of Ian Woodley. It's like fair. She's, she's getting a lot of respect, isn't she? Sure. I mean, against another player in that situation, Ian Woodley would suspect to steal and probably move all in with his stack uh, being at around 50-odd thousand. Why? Why would you uh, want to do that? I don't know. Oh, wow. Well. I think she's got three deuces. Uh, and luckily for her, Woodley Sorry. hasn't hit a king or queen. She's going to give him a chance to hit one later or maybe bluff it. That's a nice mm. check, Leo. That's a nice check. Right. Yeah, she's, she's played good here. I mean, women players generally, um, when playing against guys, tend to get um, the alpha male trying to bluff them. And uh, Woodley's a definite example of this. He, I'd imagine he'll be looking to pick on her in this situation. He would feel that her check showed weakness. <laughs> Having said that, if she does check raise here, um, Leo, she won't you get, get any other money out of it. She That's should check call. Cool. You want me to write it again because it won, it won, it gone on to win the tournament. <laughs> you even have to it out with all bit of tatted. Cool. And she's called, which is good. I want to lose a pot in, uh, in, in the bed. She, she definitely knows where she's at. She definitely knows where she's at. She must check again. Hopefully, for her, it'll come a queen or king. Ian's picked up the flush draw. Uh, I guess he might uh, he might choose to go all in now with the two over cards and the flush draw. If she can resist betting, it would help. He might not think he can fold anymore. There's not. He doesn't have many chips left, does he? He started the hand with 52,000. Um, He's put in about 30. 18,000. Yeah, I guess he's going to put it in. There we go. Okay. And uh, Woodley's drawing live, but what a spot oh. for Cat Girl. Very good cool spot now. for Cat Girl. Oh, she yeah. played it very well as well. Yeah. It's another 4,000. Another 4. And, uh. Don't pass this for sure. Woodley down to. Clipper Club. Boat. I'm about to shake your hand, but. It all went wrong. Brilliant tonight.
Yeah, Woodley, um, he Ian, uh, just sort of started off a bit poorly. He seemed to kind of limp into a few pots with no real direction, and the next thing he was short stacked. He's one of the So they told me that they send them off to, uh, to some place in. Siberia. In the mountains. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Wherever the story's going, it's your wrong. In the mountains, so Surrender, who never feed feels an obligation to participate in the table talk. And <laughs> Why would they feed them on cheese on toast? It's the only thing they can get under the door. It's a real hand. <laughs> It'll be something like the third hand he's Price. raised in, oh, I think four or five, right? 10,000 um, titles. Plus? Four plus six. He's done it under the gun though, on the Devilfish is blind, which he did actually on the last circuit as well. And also, no one's got much of a hand. I think he's, uh, he's going to get this one through. This might call me another Fisher. Cool. Fisher's got the five six suit in. Oh, the cards are only for Dave. Really sure raised. what the heading is here. Well, I guess Devilfish is just to protect kind you. of a stubborn guy, and he can't yeah, let Serena keep raising like his blind. He's hit a five uh, and a backdoor flush draw. That's probably enough for him to show some yeah. interest in at least check calling. I mean, this is the double-edged sword of Surrender's strategy, isn't it? He he can he can win money without actually getting all his chips in because he gets small calls and it's all his chips after the flop. He can also have something like this happen, right? I mean, it's... it's. I think he is going to bet this one. He's, he's thinking a long time. He's deciding whether or not all-in is necessary. All-in is probably the least likely thing he's going to do. Knowing Surrender is much, much more likely to be a sort of 14,000 or something I like that, know. is bet. <laughs> Camera, I got... Devilfish starts the hand with 181,000. Um, he doesn't really want to do 35 of it to surrender. Dirty stack there. Well, surrender looks like he could he could just push all in here, and I, I think it's a tough decision for Devilfish. How much is it, please? 29, approximately. Uh, I'm I mean, there's so many it. people, Neil, who <laughs> would have just shipped Surrender's money in before the flop, won the 6,000, and been done with it. But here he's, he always gives himself, oh, uh, gives himself a chance to no. yeah. Yeah. truly yeah. double up. He's behind now, though, isn't he? I think he's going to call me the nine. Oh, and, and, uh, what you got? Ace queen. That's what I put you on, someone like that. Well, I guess I'm favorite. Look at that. Fun. Well, 72,000 in there. This will put Surrender right back in it, but he's got a hit. Ace Didn't or look queen. One time. Jack. Oops. Oops. No. Oh, it's all dead now. Dead bad. It's the end of that one. <laughs> Surrender, can I borrow that lucky teddy? <laughs> <laughs> He's great to watch Safe Surrender, and I mean, you, or, geez, you do, you do feel like he came in here away from the table. and, Don't and played a stormer. Good luck. Devilfish, bet frequency high, won 10 hands. He's the first one to crack 200K. Lines up to three and 6,000 now, and what or who is going to kick into action now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Liam, son. Just for you. Well, obviously, Liam yes. is going to kick into action. He's uh, He must have asked ten times during the last blind level when the blinds are going up, and he's desperate. Normally, when you've got a short stack, you're keen for the blinds not to go up. But for Liam, he wants them to go up. He wants the initial oh. raise to be 15, 16, 18, 20,000, so that when he ships his 74 in, he wins a decent amount for his risk. Okay. Um, and I'm sure that's going to be his plan. Probably has me beaten already. This little limp by to buy to buy, he didn't want to make a bet that was going to. Uh, yeah. Try. 10,000. He didn't want to make a bet that was going to get him all in before the flop. Big action flop here, though. John uh, Raise, probably thinking if he hits a jack or a 10, that'll Raise. be good. And obviously, Raise. he's got a flush draw. He now realizes that a jack or a 10 is not it's likely to be good. But he may feel he's getting his odds. <clears throat> And uh, this is Mother's so Milk to Liam. Yeah. It's 40 more? Yeah. 10, 20, 30, 8. 
anything. Yeah, I got a call. He'll, he'll, Liam will be funking for okay. a call. No, <laughs> he no. just, he just... Who, who would have called you by now? This oh, is a pretty a decisive a a sort of pot for the dynamics of the game. Obviously, Liam all yeah. in, so... I'd sooner have it on the table, avoid the club. And he'll be a big force, I guess, if he if if he, if he doubles up. Look at that count there, man. Look at this. this. Is the TV. So Everything diamond, going I'm for guessing. Tabby Tabby. TV. I don't I'm guessing it's nine clubs. I don't want it to be, but I'm guessing. Four. No. Wow. Kings up, Paul. Nice oh, yeah. Go on, Liam. Son. Nice <laughs> on. Nice on, buddy. <laughs> you, know, you should have more respect for your grandfather. Devilfish has looked like. Easy. Oh. The Devilfish that's won World Series bracelets. TV poker tournaments, cash games, strikes fear and terror in the hearts and minds of millions. He raised 21,000 total. First. And Tabby, Tabby, did, he's, he's raised from the button here, and Devilfish has limped, which is, I don't think we've really seen under the gun forehanded. Yeah, Devilfish limped for six. Uh, top of the top of the bar, uh, made it 21,000. Who's happier right now? Devilfish is called to take a hand, uh, take a flop out of position here, which uh, was a bit of a change of plan and a big, big flop for everybody. Flush draw two overs for John Tabatabai and the uh, top pair and a gut shot straight draw for Devilfish. He's a favorite John here, isn't he? Not, not, not a massive amount in it, though. Interesting. Devilfish has made a straight. John Tabatabai has now got an up and down straight draw to go with his flush draw. He, he would never believe he's two to one against here, John, would he? It's, uh, again, yeah. it's got the potential to be an enormous pot, and they're both treating each other with a great deal of respect. What's the, the really interesting. If Devilfish bets 20 here, which he has, John Tabatabai will think that he's got enough chips to get him off of it and could easily move all in. There's plenty of money in the pot uh, to, to steal, as he would see it. Well, he, he think, he's definitely thinking about stealing. He basically has jack high at the moment. Um, I, I think he's going to move all in. I mean, Neil, with a flush draw and two overs on the flop, a lot of guys like to fast play that and just get the money in. Sure. What? Wh why oh, this uh, line for Tabby Tabby? Well, oh, he's maybe. he still leaves himself uh, oh, if he hits a hundred thousand chips if if he loses from here. And he's hit it! Wow, there you go. Well, Devilfish is going to be moaning and cursing. He's hit it two ways. Devilfish has checked. Check. Didn't go for the blocking bet. A lot of players would have gone for the blocking bet there. Devilfish is checking. He may be checking to check call because he knows John Tabatabai can uh, can easily make a bluff at him here. It was a real bingo card. It really was his gin card, wasn't it? And look how John has got there. It's it's kind of neat, isn't it? He's got about a hundred grand left. He, he should bet about thirty-five, I think. Yeah. Any chance of getting greedy? I don't think he's going to be pushing. Wow, well, you would have uh, you would have definitely bet a flush draw. Thirty-eight thousand. So you either got an eight or nothing, huh? How much? Thirty-eight. This could be a bad beat, I'll tell you that much. This could be another special. He's really discounting the flush, it seems like it. Anybody that doesn't enjoy listening to Devilfish whinging should probably turn the TV down right now. What's he got? Flush. Flush. Where the net? Down the jack. What a fucking joke this game is, huh? Where'd you have? Straight? Set. No, I had a straight. Four. I'll tell you what, Neil, you're at the top of your game, too. We've got all the man that got in there, don't we? As usual. It was an odd hand, Neil, because no, from the start, it looked like they were both ten. playing to play a big pot, and no, then the Tabby Tabby, tabby you know, completely took his foot off the gas. I couldn't put you on a flush draw when you checked the flop. Yeah. We'll get cash. Remember, I'll limp in with S10 suited and stuff. Be when we get to the 715 level, which we will do quite shortly, they're all going to be very, very close to the average 150,000. Is there somebody who's much. missed a trick, do you think? Yeah. No, oh, I don't think so. Everyone, yeah. You know the fish like to play flops. I was saying before, I think Cat Girl was the only one yeah. who was perhaps just Jim. being reactive rather than proactive. <laughs> I think the other that was three a long time ago. His name tried is Jim, very actually. hard to kick mm -hmm. on and Years get ago. into it and break away from the other I'm players and for you. build up some chips you say you like so that they girlfriends are have the options available to them of raising and re-raising. It was all yours, Davey. Liam fell asleep. 
Now he's thinking about it. It just hasn't really worked out for them. And every time someone's kind of got into a lead, just they've pass. been they've been pegged back. I don't know why he's tanking here. This usually is just Liam cracking on. He's got about 140,000. Mm. He maybe he maybe feels because he's oh. effectively oh. under the gun in a four-handed wow. game and. He's got four right. like big blinds rather than just his normal of kind of eight, nine, mm. ten. Spicy, spicy. He's risking a bit too much with a mm. ten high if he moves all in. Oh. He obviously isn't massively keen to play. Oh. I mean, wow. I oh. feel like both the fish and Tabby Tabby hmm. are not. I don't know. It Might do one of your moves. <laughs> Liam's obviously got the best hand by some way. No, gone. But I don't feel like he's favourite to win this pot, really. It should be roughly 50-50 whether he does or he doesn't. But I feel like one of the other two will steal it from him. Apart from when he pops the nuts. Check. 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 What a curveball. It's going to come the five of... Well, five Thanks. clubs is out at camp, but... I just got the feeling that the devil fish will be the one to get him in trouble. Yeah. Check. Check. He definitely doesn't want to see a yeah. deuce Check. on the river. Check. Oh Check. boy. You do have that feeling, don't you? Are you sneaking there? Check. Yeah. Check. 30. 30,000. And obviously, Devilfish. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Devilfish is unbelievable tonight. I've not even got an ace. You flop the nuts 9-10, he says straight yeah. away. I think that's the fourth time he's correctly named Liam's hand today. He's, he's a, he is. He is a master. Check. Uh, 9-10. Fairly Liam, huh? Wow. I should have had the flop. Check top pair on the flop like an idiot. If I let you catch someone, good luck to you. Oh, oh dear, oh Devilfish, what happened there? You called his hand exactly and then you paid him off anyway. What a horrible play. Yes. You were right. What? Flap the nuts. Yeah, I knew it was the nuts on off you. Yeah. One million percent the nuts. Do you know what I called you with a Deuce like. Because <laughs> you've either got the nuts on off him, full stop. And that last hand, 30,000 away from the Devilfish. I guess he might have thought, Neil, that the uh, difference between uh, 120 and 90 and the chance to have about 60 more was just the same kind of move when the blinds go up. Yeah, there's a little bit to be said for that. Uh, if he had had 120, when the blinds are 715, people make it kind of 40,000 to go. 120, you're struggling to get them to lay a hand down, just the same as you are with 90. But at the end of the day, he, he made a read. He, uh, he didn't really have much of a hand anyway. He still had John Tubber to buy behind him and, and basically he just sort of bled away a few Can't chips running. And right? as the blinds go up, flood. I mean, who's going to stop them? I've never worked as hard in my life. There's only one person that's kind of slightly cracked up in that moment, and that was Devilfish for that last call. He, he, he just lost patience, I think. He, he knew nice. he was in trouble. <laughs> He called Liam's hand, and then he called anyway. It was a Helmuth-esque moment. Okay, guys. 91. He didn't need much oh, to do this. Uh, uh, he's in... Uh, he's, age. He's, oh, oh, there we are. John Tabas Tobias has found that hand. hand. Definitely cooked yeah. here is well, devil the fish. Devilfish. I don't think he's done a great deal wrong there. He's got 92,000. If he takes the blinds, he's going to do 22 of it in the next two hands, and he knows... It. The best thing to do is just push with any decent hand and pray that no one's got anything. It's also Cat Girl's big well, blind. Man. He's just unlucky. John Tubber Tobias found a hand behind. Him. And he hasn't he hasn't lost yet. He has so been known for eight seven to win in this yeah. situation. It should be them. Quite yeah. sure why Liam's yeah. wasting the time here. There's absolutely so no chance was on, on earth that, that he's going to call with his two deuces. <clears throat> Presumably his <clears throat> tailor has told him to make sure he gets a few close ups. His suit is an incredible fit. But the deuces. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, what would you do if it was your goal? It's not Ronnie O'Sullivan. I mean, I think he may be just winding up the fish here. I mean, he knows Tabby Tabby has a massive hand. And, uh. I hope you got about a pair of jacks over there. 
the good thing about it is I would have called you. Pass. Pass. Devil fish all in and needing that bullet. It's the same either bullet. way. He knows mm -hmm. he either mm -hmm. needs the ace or the seven, doesn't he? Two up. Pretty sure about queens. that. One in queens. Same thing as Jacks. I've got this to go and out. Let's go. Good luck, mate. Dave, seven. do you know what I have? You have an ace? No. <laughs> it don't matter to me, I don't care. Well, I know that one guy. Either way, one, one thing is for sure: the devil know, fish oh, is back. Is. Look ah. at that, and the deuce as well, Liam. Now uh, he's still, he's still immediately going to be thinking that. Come, but uh, I got clubs. I'm good. So I just said a club will come. Very unlucky this for uh, John Tucker to buy. Obviously, he's done nothing wrong. I don't, I don't think anyone did anything wrong in this hand. The blinds are at such a stage that a lot of these hands just play themselves, and this is one of them. No, you're only about two to one on favourite. Just the queen. Tabby Tabby, I believe, has more chips than the devil fish, but there ain't much in it. I mean, what with? There have been tremendous players in this heat, Neil. I mean, well, you would have called me. From here on in, yeah. it's going to be yeah, not, yeah. so not as pretty and more just kind of automatic. I've done everything and played everywhere. And I've put more hours in at the poker table than some of these young kids have been born. You know, I mean, I've got cheese in my fridge older than some of them. And, um, uh, you know, I see them do such bad moves and stuff at the table. But, it, you know, it's when I when I play poker now, it's like um, it's like getting in the car, you know, and turning it on and driving. You know, it's just the same. I sit down, I don't have to study, I don't have to do this and do that. It's just all, everything comes second nature. And I don't, I'm not trying to sound clever or, or big headed. It's just, it's like anybody who's spent like 30 years in the trade. It just, it's just all comes, you know, all comes to them. And I like to think when I sit at the table, people are open at Shepherd's buying the back of the trousers. What are the blinds? 7.15. You've got the right amount out there, amazingly. Just by luck. Can I just do this for you? Yeah. Is there an argument, Neil, that even when like this, it becomes what you think is so automatic. There's still a couple marginal decisions, and people can make mistakes. Uh, certainly, they can. Actually, uh, this sit and go strategy at this stage is, is very well analyzed by, uh, you know, there is software and such like on the internet, and you can just come up with a definitive, a definitive answer for these things. I don't, I don't sit and play thousands of sit and goes on the internet every day. I have played quite a lot of them in my life. There are people out there that can just tell you to eight decimal places what the correct thing to do is. All in. Pretty sure wow. the, the devil fish is in good shape here. Good time to find something, Liam. This is mm -hmm. a good time to find something. Well, I mean, what's happened here is John Tubber Tobias ended up putting in his chips in, in a worse situation than he was in before, and he's going to win less money if he gets it right. He already had money committed in the other hand, and don't do it, Liam. Boy, he looks tempted. Just from a random point of view, not knowing what these guys have, it, is the raise here all in to isolate Tabby Tabby? Is is that plausible? Do have any full equity in you? Well, this is it. He's thinking to himself that Devilfish could be Chandra? just taking advantage of the fact that he's now got quite a big How stack. Much is and with Tabby Tabby just flat calling. With basically what he considers to be any two random cards, if he can get Devilfish off of his hand, Pass. obviously he can't. Never Pass. got king, but if he, he's thinking if he it's could, nice he can get a good price. I guess I am. Yeah, he made, he made the right decision as it works out. Liam, was you going to do a move there, buddy? Damn, what are you just thinking of calling? No, he's a got? pair of twos again. He's got the, he's got the big lick. <laughs> I got Boy, uh, the Tabby big Tabby, I mean, three yeah. hands Good ago, yeah. I I really he was, Good luck it would have been a massive favourite there with the Queens, all in, and uh, bam, bam, bam. 572 is one spade. But Easy. I'm running good here now, so things might go good. That's a pretty good flop for me. He's a done for card. Not bad for you. Give him a six. Clean. Or oh, nine, just give, give him eight. Give me eight. preferable. No, we don't want any eights. Oh, I don't want that either. Now I want the eight, please. I can't even have a king. Well, that's not bad no. for me, no. Yeah, just, just the eight. Just eight. It's going to be an eight, it's not a problem. Wow. wow. Full house against the trade. Again. One thing's for sure, Neil. Player. This is a player, a poker player Thank here. He's, he's fun to watch. Just tell me yeah, he's fun to watch. He's a yeah. smart kid. That was good fun. He's uh, See learned later. a lot over the last few years. And the devil fish has <laughs> still got it. He's got it all, man. And the 
cut, catching a couple cards now, too. Cracking the queens, then getting the kings the full house. Beating the straight. Cool. The fish has limped in here. I think he, he realizes that she probably knows enough to know she's not committed. He hasn't got a particularly good hand. He wants to give himself the chance to outplay her on the flop. No worries. Most likely she's going to miss. Two out of every three times she's probably going to miss the flop. And uh, he's going to try and nick it. As it happens, she's flopped to flush and he's flopped to pair. So could possibly <laughs> be a double up here for Cat <laughs> It's going to be great. The oh. fish will be cursing himself that he didn't just raise and steal the bind. Check. You, you, you kind of have to look forward cool. to hearing it. I mean, if you're, well, you're a person course, you with a flush, beating huh? pulse, I mean. Very good. Oh, you got a flush? Yeah. Fuck you know. <laughs> it's good enough, don't worry. <laughs> wow. How much you got? That girl's gonna double up. <laughs> and then we're probably gonna have a small moan. Nice. It'll probably last about five nope. to six minutes. Whoops. Look at this. Wow. He's got some outs now, the devil fish. Seven the king root ten. Very unlucky for cat girl. The board pairs or the seven. No, I'm not running that good. The flush holds. And uh Oh, cat girl is um, getting what she needs uh. when she needs it. Yeah. Starting to get to that yeah, point where what a story it would be no, if cat girl could come through here. I mean, think about yeah. the lineup she's seen off so. already. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, she's yeah, done tremendously really well um, up till now. Plus. I can sort of <sighs> feel that Devilfish is starting to get the needle with the whole thing. He's starting to lose a bit of patience. I've got to be his too. Fine. I was trying to talk you into calling. I wanted you to call. Oh. I thought you had a bad ace. Cool. That was my <laughs> reason. No race. You were nearly right. Fish limping into floods, big blind again, and bottom pair. Yep, both players flopping a That'd pair. Awesome. And uh, I think Liam's going to know his is all right. Cool. Now, this call, does it mean a lot different than the Tabatabi -tabi call, which was actually yeah. a very similar type of flop? I'm kind of surprised you just called, actually. I mean, normally in this situation, a queen is not a particular Check. danger card. Six. I think Liam thinks he's in front. 60, I'm sure he knows he's in front now. He's got a gut well, shot. Liam, just maybe. In case. I think I got the best deal. I don't know what to say. Devil fish is definitely not calling this bet as far as I can see. He called once with a deuce and regretted it instantly against Liam. And he laid down with a deuce earlier. And I think the last deuce is going to be what affects this one. He, he, he hated himself Jack, for yeah. doing it last time and he's not going to do it this time. Yeah, I mean the 60,000 would start to make this pot very decisive. 60. I mean, obviously, there's a gut straight draw out there. He's just trying to figure out how... Liam's not the kind of guy who you could guarantee is going to fold this hand for the re-raise all in, is he? I just don't think Devil is going to make that cool. play. Oh my I, gosh. I'm well, surprised he, has he's to be, called. he has to be calling to bluff this. Well, no, I think he, he, he's sort of half hoping to pick something up and half hoping they can check it down. With a deuce? Check. On pet. I think Devil Fish thought a deuce might possibly On be. On pet, if you got to pay, you got to beat. On okay. pet. You take it. Neil, what? What for? 
<laughs> it's kind of weird. Well, I, I, good call I definitely two. think that there were, yeah, that I thought there were lots of draws on there. Like it was beef. only 60 grand. There was a lot of money in there. He's got a call Dinkin. just in case well, we have got some kind of drawing hand. I don't personally yeah. like the call. I don't I quite understand it. Um, that's no, three no, times now he's had a douche. He's kind of thought he's beaten all three of them. I made up my mind I wouldn't have. Liam Flood's got the chip lead. That was a decisive part against the fish and the gentleman. I mean, Irish eyes. Catgirl's got the button again, and she's back to having 84,000 on the button, and basically she must put her chips in virtually with any two cards here. It looks though she might not play. Wow. Us. But she'll decide when these chips go oh. in. As it happens, the other two have both found hands behind her. But uh, and Devilfish is limp. I'm guessing limp to re-raise all, all in. Right. Liam could easily Six move all in and just Rise take the play away. More. I'm on it. Uh, all in. Like cool. Catgirl's going to get in the second here. Well, possibly. What? Oh, that was a bit rush for me. From you or me? Me. Oh, good. Okay, cards are in Oh, you're in trouble. All right. Yeah, it's not that it is. It's the devil it's fish all in. Yeah, I, I think luck, Liam yeah. might have been better served by just moving the just whole lot in and taking the play away from devil fish. There was it's enough money in situation. there, and he could just pick that up. And devil fish would have been able to pass then. There's the ace. Bad now. <laughs> the fish oh. needs flood to hit two pair. Flood's going to be what? a massive, massive leader. Give me a plus. That's huh. giving him out. That, that was like the only cat I didn't want to see. Jack for the Queen, fish huh? or the me. king. Yeah, the queen's no good. Ace is hold. Hold on. I think I have you covered. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know either. I guess you will have. The devil fish has played Jeez, the spots the deal, and the stars off the cards to no avail. The old master. 200. He's not old, he's playing like a 18 year old Swede. Well, the Irish I won't shake you on, baby, because of the paint, but good luck, baby. Yeah. It's just unlucky at his pitcher. And even then, it's only uh, it's not much difference than a coin flip. I'm only about a um, 46% chance, so it's not a bad spot, really. Get a bit lucky there, I mean, I caught a king. If you don't catch an ace, I win it, and I win the tournament. Yeah. Well, then. Did you look? She's done very well to get to the heads okay, up stage. Well, it, this was an incredibly hard heat. Looking. And cool. uh, she's finally okay, decided to have stick them all in. I think she did it blind in the end. She went down to 35,000 there. And uh, she knows it's having got two. 20 of it in. Uh, 10 of it in, sorry, on the small line. She's got to put it in. She's found an ace, as it happens. Yeah. The enough. problem is, if she doubles up here, uh, she's still in a bit of a mess anyway. If she'd have done it when she had 55,000 uh, or 75,000 or 110,000, you know, it wouldn't have been so bad. She needs so many things to happen, and it's not going to happen, I think. Blood's on the verge. Full house, and <laughs> I tell you what, he is going to be a threat Played in well. this tournament. He really is, yeah. I'm glad to see Liam in the other half of the draw to me. Great stuff from Catgirl. We'll be seeing her again in full regalia. That's one suit that can go right back on the rack. <laughs> Last hand left late for Cat Girl Neil and uh, Full House wins. But really, I mean, what a fantastic viewing from start to finish this heat. Yeah, we had a great lineup tonight. This was probably the toughest heat that we've seen in the whole tournament. And uh, it was brilliant. Some brilliant poker played. And uh, Liam Flood had a game plan. He stuck to his game plan, not for the first time, and it worked. <laughs> Well, not even all the superpowers in the world can get a good man off his game. The gentleman, Liam Flug, congratulations. Thank you, Jesse. This is, the, the form you're in in this format is, is something special, really. Well, I think I got lucky today, now, in fairness. I was under pressure for a long time, but um, I was able to slow down, which was good. Catgirl, commiserations, but what a fantastic performance. I mean, uh, the quality of this table, uh, what was your strategy all the way through? 
just to make a decision in the right time. You seem to, you seem to really take good care of your chips. And I mean, uh, a couple moves when you had to make moves. Maybe a little, when you do a little mistake, that's why you don't get first place. Well, it was great stuff. You'll, of course, have another chance in the turbo. Liam, you've been runner-up in this tournament. You're a European Open champion. Is, is this title something uh, you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, it is the one I want. There's no doubt about it. Well, I could do with the money as well, Jesse. <laughs> well, best of luck to both of you. <laughs> Liam Flood through to the semifinals, and he's got big laurels. Will be a big threat there. Still three more heats to go, though, to fill that second semifinal. <laughs> Next time, the cube rolls the dice against a German and a Dane. And will the butcher slaughter them all here on the PartyPoker.net World Open Forum?